which is uh, in Sikhi, the souls of the animals is similar to the souls of the uh, human. So that, the difference between me and God is I have to be here to hear this conversation. He doesn't. Because, yeah, because you explain that he doesn't have to be anywhere, but we're saying he's everywhere and anywhere, but he's not at one point either. He's everywhere and anywhere. It's true that if you stun the halal meat, it's not halal anymore. Yeah, there's a Because in this country, they stun the meat, don't yeah, they? Before they, they kill it. They, they, Check out our sponsors, Nature's Blends. They specialise in premium Ethiopian black seed products. Their products are fantastic health supplements and also from the Sunnah. The website is in the description link below. Is, uh, in Sikhi, the souls of the animals is similar to the souls of the uh, human. Okay. It's like a, uh, uh, what do you call it, brief way of saying it, right? Yeah. In Islam, is that similar or not? And why? Or not why, but yeah. like, generally. We don't believe it's... I don't think we believe, we believe... Do they have souls? Yes. Are they souls like ours? No. Because we have free will. So, for example, you have the angels, you have the humans, and you have the animals. Yeah? The animals do, react based on instinct. Uh, instinct. Angels do as they're told. They have no free will. What we believe makes us different and unique is that we are be we can be better than the angels or worse than the animals. Yeah. If we act on our desires, I want this, I want that, what's the difference between you and an animal? The animal does the same thing. If you want to be better than the angels, then you obey God based on, not because you have no free will and you're forced to like the angels, but because you want to. So with us, animals are different. They don't have a free will. Do you get it? In, in, that, in that context, so they act on instinct. So in that context, animals have great right. You can't abuse an animal. We have hadith we have from uh, Banu Israel, from the children of Israel. Yeah? There's certain things that we take from their sayings. There was a woman who uh, helped. She was a prostitute who would commit a sin, but she helped the dog by getting her shoe and putting it down the well and fed the dog. And she, her sin was forgiven. And then we know of a woman who tortured a cat and she was doomed to the hellfire. Yeah. So you are not allowed to harm animals. So their souls feel pain? Well, it's, it's, it's not a matter of they feel pain or not, but you're not allowed to make them suffer. Of course they feel pain, yeah. but you shouldn't make them suffer for no reason. Even when it comes to slaughtering uh, an animal, it has to be done in a specific way. You have to be gentle, close their eyes, don't sharpen your knife so that it's immediate death. Yeah. Other animals don't see it. You know, it, it has to be, you know. Yeah, what about in Sikh, like Sikhism, how, how does it work? Like, so, so, so an animal. Slow, jatka. If they are jugos, you get a sharp sword, beheaded really quickly. So, so from the neck, just straight? From the neck top. Okay, yeah, with us, we do it there. So we can which seems a lot slower. I've seen videos on it, it's a lot slower because you got to drain the blood out, which seems a lot slower there. But the thing is, it's, what it is, it's the, both of them, the jugular vein is gone. With yeah. you guys, one, the spine is gone as well. Yeah, ours is quicker. Yeah, with us, is like, for example, is that if you, because the jugular vein, as long as the jugular vein is cut, that's it. Do you get it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, from that yeah, aspect, it's, it's, yeah, it's like that. So, but uh, like we know, man, if, as soon as the blood and the oxygen doesn't go to the brain, you're gone. Yeah. Is it's it true that if you stun the halal meat, it's not halal anymore? Yeah, there's a Because in this country, they stun the meat, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they, 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 they say if you stun it, and the animal dies, you're not allowed to eat dead animals if they're not slaughtered. So they have a different opinion of... It can okay. be applied to this time because the technology stun did not exist. No, no, yeah, but the thing is, if you're stunning it to death, yeah. you can't eat the animal. Yeah, right. But if you're stunning it and it's not dead, it's still alive, there's a different opinion where it says, okay, you cut the throat while it's still alive, but it's stunned. So how do you think Islam... So do you think Islam can be applied to the modern world we live in? Because times are very yeah, much different. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Because at the end of the day, uh, it depends what we're living in. If we're living in times of where certain things are okay, but just because they're made okay doesn't mean it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Do you get it? Like, yeah, for example, I don't know, certain things. So, uh, Islam is there for all times. It's not for the specific times. It's just our subjective things have changed. Our perception in uh, the world, our morals have changed. So that's why we look at Islam as something abnormal. It's not abnormal. We have become abnormal. Mm. Mm. Do you think do you think Islam is the final religion? Right? We believe that. We believe it's the final religion. That what evidence is to say you were the final one? Because I'm sure you go back to my first question. Really. Yeah. You said there's some revelations that have happened. But it's not been a revelation that said. Is that? Yeah. Isn't that explicitly says that that the prophet is the final messenger? Any evidence to back it up that he's the final messenger and not just him claiming he's the final messenger? Sorry, to Say that again. Is there any evidence to back that your prophet is 
the death what, of the No, no, of course. But that, that's what I said. We, we, we start at the beginning. Yeah, you told me at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. That, there's, there's, there's many reasons. So we look at his character, who he was. Yeah. We look at what he came down with. Yeah. We look at his prophecies. Yeah? So we access all of this stuff. Because we can't just believe any topic. And I'm a prophet. Oh, okay. But everyone's a prophet. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. there's stuff that he's come with. We observe his character, the revelation that he's come with, that was given to him, and the people that followed him, yeah. the prophecies that he made, <laughs> the predictions that he made. So all of this is assessed. And if this is assessed and we don't find any flaws in it, the question that needs to be asked is, okay, what else can this be? Is he a man, for example, if he was a man who was a liar, the, the pagan Arabs offered him everything. We'll give you money, we'll give you women, we'll give you whatever you like. Stop your message. Did he state he was the final yeah, message of yeah, God? Yeah, of course, he's yeah, the final yeah, message of God. That's what we say, the Prophet Muhammad is the final message of God. Yeah. And did he perform miracles or not? I can't get my head around miracles personally. Yeah, he did. Without making divine then, it's teaching perform miracles. <laughs> okay, no, he wouldn't. See, that's the thing. So well, I was thinking it was divine. I think it was the power of God. No, but that's, that's good, that's good. That's, that's what Islam is. Yeah, We don't believe divinity belongs to anyone except God Almighty. So the thing is that miracles are done via the permission of God. No prophet comes and says, oh, he God, that's a miracle. It's done with the permission of God. This is where Christians went astray because they'll see Jesus doing miracles and be like, oh, that's God. He's God. He must be God. But we're saying, well, Moses parted the sea. Different prophets did different miracles. They do it with the permission of God. Why is it that Jesus all of a sudden he do it, does it himself? So that's where we say that <coughs> miracles, for example, uh, we believe the biggest miracle is the Quran. The Quran is a living miracle where you can analyze it. You can see. Do you get it? If it's, if it's not from God, you'll find errors, contradictions. So the Quran is a self, something that you can test. But if, 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 if a Christian comes to an atheist, the atheist is going to say, how can I test that Jesus did this and this? How do I know? I wasn't there. But with the Quran, it's here, test it. There's some tests that we can't perform. Well, yes. Like, so, for example, if you're not an Arabic-speaking person, you're not going to be able to meet the challenge of bringing something like it because you don't speak Arabic. Like you said, there's some things that we that debate about free will that we can never test ourselves. Well, of course. Well, now free will it goes back to the attribute of God. Yes. If you are blind, do you, do you not admit that there's some still blind? No, 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 no. Of course, of course. As long as if it's absolute blind faith, that's wrong. But if there's certain question that's being answered. A lot of them are being answered, and there's certain elements where this is actually like, if you know everything about God, if God, everything that you know, God, you know, if God knows everything and you want to know everything God knows, then what's the difference between you and God? Do you get it? So, 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 there's things that you should know. But if someone comes and says, yeah, faith, 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 flipping out the whole religion's faith, yeah. is there nothing? Do you get it? But Islam says no. That's what Allah says in the Quran. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ardi wa akhtilaf al-layli wa al-nahari la ayati li'uli al-albab. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and in the alternation of the night and day, there are signs for those who think. So Allah is saying, use your internet, look around. Yeah, In the creation of the heavens and the earth, and in the alternation of night and day, there are signs for those who think. So God is not telling you blind faith, yes, I believe. Ask questions. But there are certain things that you're not going to know, the unseen. So you don't claim that Islam has the whole truth? No, no, no. We claim Islam has the absolute truth. But what we're saying is, if you're... No, no, but there's certain truths that you're not aware of. Which can be that, like, for example, where is God? So is that a question that makes Islam false if I don't answer it? No, it's an attribute of God. Uh, what's what's, what's parent? We don't believe that. No, we don't believe that. Yeah, we don't. We believe his knowledge is everywhere. But we don't believe he is everywhere. We think his knowledge is part of his... Properties, yeah, of course, but, we, but he doesn't need to be here to know this discussion. So Allah says in the Quran that if there's two of you, he's the third. If there's third, three of you, there's the fourth. Meaning that he knows what we're talking about. This second, he knows everything that's happening. Atoms. He knows, but he doesn't need to be here to know that. His power is that he doesn't require, I have to be here to hear. He doesn't need to be here to hear. What we do is that we think he's everywhere. Yeah, we think it's causing everything to happen. Yeah, we say he can do that without being here. He can yeah. cause that without being here. He can he can say, you know what? Uh, like everything, anything that the most smallest attic he is aware. He doesn't need to be here. I have to. So that the difference between me and God is I have to be here to hear this conversation. He doesn't. Because, yeah, because you're explaining that he doesn't have to be anywhere, but we're saying he's everywhere and anywhere, but he's not at one point either. He's everywhere and anywhere. Exactly. Do you get it? But what we're saying is that we it's believe. Mathematically. Yeah, but, but we're saying that he doesn't require. If we say he needs to be everywhere or here's everything, then I'm going to say, for example, in the toilet. Is God in the toilet? Well, like, it's God's. 
manifest. It's hard to explain, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm still not trying to get my Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you get where we're coming from? We're seeing that. I get what you're, uh, you're, 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 you He's yeah, okay. he's part of his creation. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, so like, that's that's really thing I talk to him about. Like, our ideas of God are so that. pretty different. But so we believe God's everywhere and mm. within everything. We don't so believe everything has God's so power within like, it. I could be correct if I'm wrong here from Sikhs, but yeah. But the thing is, like, what would I say is, is that there's 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 we should come to a common agreement wherever the truth is. So I would say, does God need to be everywhere? To know things, does God have to be here? Is this God? Like, does this need to be God? Do you get it? Why? Assuming God like needs to. That's really where they're putting it. Yeah. From my point of view, that's assuming that God needs to has the concept of knowledge we do. God could just have a different concept of knowledge. We yeah, do. Yeah. Exactly. We do. Well, exactly. But does it does he need to be in the creation? That's what we say. We, we don't believe because we think he is the creation. That's a difference. But if he's the creation, then the creation had a beginning. Do you get it? The creation had a beginning. We believe God didn't have a beginning. But then you get the whole idea where God had the beginning, like you said, you get the infinite loop. God, you get the infinite loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. So that's the thing. Because if we say he's in the creation. Is God oh, yeah, infinite yeah, yeah, yeah. or finite? Yeah, yeah. We believe we believe He's infinite. If He's infinite, then He can never be in the finite. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Really. Imagine well, your idea of infinity is really confusing me. Though. Well, infinite is no beginning or no end. Broken this argument down. No beginning and end. Because you can find zero and keep going forever. That's what you hear. No, 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 no. But what we're saying is there was no beginning and there was no end. There was not a point of beginning, there was not a point of end. We sort of say that there was, he was timeless, a God, eternal. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a temple. The universe came about from the beginning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's what we're saying. still a part of the creation of the universe. No, no, no. He gave rise yeah, to the universe. Yeah, you think but he's, he's not. It, yeah. He's not a part of it. Yeah, we differ on that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So what we're saying is that he's not a part of it because he gave rise to something. So how can he be a part of something that he gave rise to? Because he's infinite. The universe is finite. It was given rise to. So then, how can that finite thing be a part of him when it's infinite? Infinite things can become finite. Oh. It's really weird thing about that. It's like uh, when you take limits of functions, yeah. it's a finite, you get infinitely close to something, and you eventually prove something that's finite. It's a mathematical thing. I think maths is eternal. Can't, there's, there's something called potential infinite, but it's not infinite. So I believe maths is the only real truth in the world. Not really, because math is an abstract uh, It's an abstract thing. It's not something, you can't have mathematics. Like it's something that is abstract. It's, 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 a, it's a necessary fact. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get it? But it's not a necessary uh, being. Do you get it? So we use maths. The only thing that can be proved true, though, in my opinion, you agree with me. But but how could how could how could maths maths for example in mathematics you can say oh there's infinite pi. Yeah. But in the real world, does that exist? No. Depends how you view maths. Do you think maths is a part of nature or what? No, no, no. It's, it's something that's abstract. It's not something that we can empirically see. It's something that we use to measure. It's a tool. However, there is certain things that, for example, uh, can, both part of nature. can zero, zero mathematically, can zero give rise to one? Zero plus zero. Can zero plus zero ever be one? No, no. Exactly. So then there is certain laws even in mathematics. Zero meaning nothing can give rise to one. Yeah. Zero is depends each one. Zero is being nothing. It could be a placeholder. What I'm trying to say is, in my in my personal views, I think maths is both a way of humans describing nature, but also the way nature functions and works. I think it's the only universal truth out there that we can all agree on. Because when you prove maths is true, it's true forever. No, no, of course. That's why well, there is uh, truths in maths. Zero can never equal one. Yeah. Infinite can never be uh, finite. Mathematically, it's finite, yeah. And uh, infinite doesn't exist in the real world. In mathematics, it doesn't exist. It does exist in the world. Not, not really. Infinitely infinite close. No, but see, that's the thing. Infinitely close. That's what infinite Because infinite is not a quantity. But do you see what I'm trying to say? Infinite... It's a concept. Well, yeah, there you go. So th that's why it's, 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 it's a real concept. Because your idea of infinity take away two was still technically infinity if you... Not really, because if you take away from infinite... It's not infinite anymore. If you add to infinite, it's not infinite anymore. But no, infinite is going forever, so there's no concept of addition or not. Yeah. No, but, that, but that's that's my point. So if infinite has no beginning or end, you can't add or take away from it. So we believe God really is we're eternal. Like, huh? We really think about maths and infinity. Yeah, yeah. Close your head. Yeah. So the thing is, we're just saying that like, we just believe God is eternal. 
there is nothing like it and it cannot be finite because it goes against its whole essence. Yeah, we say God's infinite as well. But yeah. We can believe he can manifest that in finite forms yeah. if he chooses to. Because you have infinite time, you have finite subsets of that time. Yeah. Sort of, technically. Mathematically speaking. Because no, I, 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 I heavily think math is the only truth. That's my personal views. No, no, I respect that. But yeah. That's not yeah. a secret view. That's just my teacher's yeah, 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 yeah. told me this. So, yeah. <laughs> still yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we just we can't equate our reality to God's reality. Like we live in time. Oh, God is bound to time. So I think God communicates to us to maths because that makes the most sense. To well, me. of course, mathematics tells us order. It shows us patterns. It shows us some mathematical patterns in Quran. My friend keeps telling me about that. Well, but is that people can, trying? to I would say it's a bit. Yeah, weak. is that people just finding things yeah, 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 that yeah. is not really there? So yeah. So the thing is, it's a bit stretching it. So, but the thing is, it's like mathematics is used. We see it at the order in the universe. It helps us to. Understand God. Yeah. It understands yeah, us yeah. to show the magnificence of God. Do you get it? And then we say God is so magnificent, He's eternal that He cannot be in His creation. We say He's eternal, but it can be by His yeah, creation. Yeah, yeah, creation. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's where we differ. Yeah, that's pretty big. But we agree to disagree. Yeah, we agree to disagree. Yeah. 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 Also, I learned that Islam was very spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. There is, there is, there is spirituality. Sadly, yeah. it changed, shifted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there is. But well, some, people, some people, some people, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. is it? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. Yeah. But a lot of Sikh teachers, some Sikh teachers did come from the Sufi teachers. Which is Sikh is pretty spiritual religion. No, that's good. No, you should have, you have to be spiritual. Yeah. Any more questions? Thank you, man. It's a pleasure, man. I'm really happy to meet you, man. If you have any questions, come. If you come London, come speak. Different than you are online. Come speak. Am I more handsome? You're much taller. Yeah. Yeah. It kicked off. You see that? This is how we have discussions nicely with our Sikh brother in humanity. You know, learning from each other, mathematics. Till next time. Salam alaikum. We need to eat some chicken now. Generally speaking.